my idea of a date is um of course we all know how yes we're in lagos i know how stressful lagos is well a date would be that opportunity that i would have to you know have exist in an environment where i'm far away from not just myself with that woman or that lady i care about so much and it's just the both of us uh for me i could say is well more or less like going out on date trying to get know to know the person you're with you know getting to know that person that's just basically what i feel dating is all about it will come oh yeah come oh, meet me in this place or oh, probably have a date or oh, yeah, let's have some discussions and for me the primary thing is let me come and express my feelings towards you and let me hear about you that's all I don't think any Nigerian guy will ask you on a date. When you meet a guy, the next thing is he will tell you, can we see in a bar? And nobody goes to the eatery these days, you get. So it's just, let's see in a bar. And the next thing, can you come to my house? So they don't... And that's, that's why you see a lot of breakups because you don't really know who it is. You didn't sit out for a couple of times to find out the kind of personality he or she has. So I don't think date is a Nigerian thing. It's not. I don't know anything about dating. Never did anybody before I never dated, really. Never dated Everybody said I was too snobbish, so I never dated. I wasn't that lucky. I basically met him at work, and it was more like, I love you, talk your own matter. And then he said, I love you too. And a few weeks down the lane, we're married. No dating, no courtship, no long story. We're just married. How long have you guys been married? Seven years. And two kids later. Or are still saying the same thing? I love you, talk your own. On a date, how much do I think it's too much? Ah, it depends. It depends on the kind of dates. There are some dates that are like cost effective, while there are some that are really expensive. So it kind of like depends. You mean we go somewhere and I get to be the one who pays? No. The best I can do is pay part of it. That's the best I can do, but I won't pay for the entire date, never. Well, the Nana has, the Nana has um, depreciated so much now. So in our days, if you spend five naira, that's a lot of money. We were friends though, but the first official date was like funny. Because he said, I only have like 3k, so let's not buy too much. <laughs> uh, it depends on my pocket too. But uh, if I'm loaded, my date could be every day. Uh, standards for dates in terms of uh, costing, people don't ball on the budget these days. You just go and have fun, generally. You don't really have to ball on the budget. Um, I, I like the movies, I like anywhere that is not common, maybe like um, a playground, somewhere, just, I, I think for me I'm more spontaneous, so, and whatever I feel like doing, yeah, anywhere I feel like going to, I just, yeah. We um, have a private dinner and maybe probably hang out at the cinema or stay home, watch a movie. And no money is too much to spend on a date. If you have it, you spend it. Okay, the best date I've ever been on is a date where the guy in question actually danced for me. <laughs> so that was, that was it for me. Sex on the first date, absolutely not. No, but if he does have a bad breath, I don't have any business with him, okay? If, you know when someone has a bad breath, you're like, hmm, hmm, mm, you know, that's, no, no, that's a total turn off. I can't do, I can't do that, I can't Something do like that. This. A perfect date is the one when you go home and you're smiling. You go home and you're still thinking of whatever you experienced on the date.